welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva and I am so glad that you found us. Today I am going to take you out in the garden to see what we have done with it because I didn't do the garden tours this year. I had so much illness going through the whole garden season. So I wanted to show you what we've actually done. We did preserve a lot. You'll have to look back on my shorts. For the hashtag every bit counts challenge because that's when I was preserving so much. So if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing as we bring out new content all the time. So let's jump into this vlog and show you my garden. So, hello Ember. She was the chicken that broke her beak right down to her nose and she is all healed and looking good and as sassy as ever. Aren't you? She'll be staying in there because the others pick on her. So this was where my green beans was ripped out, put to bed. They will probably end up in the polytunnel at some point. This is popcorn that's waiting to dry out properly, and then that will be harvested. We've got a spaghetti squash in there. We have a little one in that dust there. So a lot of this has been put to bed. The herbs. That was the spud bag that's all been out. This is all done. In here I have, let's see if I can open it. We've only just planted these, just literally a couple of days ago. And yeah, it's some garlic and some onions. Yeah, that's the onions. This is the garlic. I ordered mine from Dobies. Okay, and. We are still picking raspberries. Let's get these picked. Well, that's not a bad little harvest, is it now? Perfect. Right. My count's done. Sunflowers. Oh, aren't they pretty? So pretty. They're not quite ready yet. There's some flowers in there. that in there with that because that is supposed to be indoors. So hello chickens. <laughs> Into the pollen tunnel. This is gonna look a bit different than it did. Look at that. Oh my that little itty bitty squash. That's going to be a little acorn squash. 
my herbs are all but done as you can see sweet potatoes they're not ready to come out yet yeah it's all the yeah it's run everywhere but we've put more dirt on the bed anyway the salad bar's been ripped out over here we've thrown some of my wheat berries down to see if we can grow any wheat it's not gonna obviously it's not gonna be a lot if it does grow it probably won't <laughs> but we're, we're just trying that's the fun thing about having a polytunnel and we have some garlic all around here we have purple bell peppers here still going we have some KM peppers still going. We can try and ripen right, right those off. I probably have to add some more heat in into here. Um, this is like a hot banana pepper, but that's got some flowers back on, so I think we're going to have to bring out our heaters at some point. It's not gas or electric or anything like that. We use um, the terracotta pots and a tea light underneath and that heats up the terracotta pot and that heats up the greenhouse then just takes the edge off I haven't got anything planted there I did plant some onions down here so those have been done as you can see we're we're wrapping up the garden slowly but surely but we are going to be trying like we do every single year we try to grow things over the winter that you're not supposed to be able to grow but it's like a little challenge that me and my third child does uh, let's see if we can grow I don't know a tomato in December so it's fun it's learning for kids it's learning if the greenhouse is capable of that but I do know I need to patch up some holes which is there there are a couple of others so I'm going to need to get that done at some point soon so um, there are only small holes thankfully but that is basically my son's <laughs> mango we had and um, we bought some mangoes and my son took a, one of the mango pits out and here we are he's growing it I always let my kids try and grow things it's fine if that's what they want to do but basically we've only got a little bit of lemon balm left and we've got some lemon balm here this is blackcurrant Sage, is it back at Sage? Can't remember. Yeah, that current Sage. That one. So, that's how the greenhouse is looking. But let's jump on inside and I'll do the £1.50 pantry challenge. And this is the pumpkin that we managed to grow in the garden it actually weighs exactly one stone so that's 14 pounds and on to the one pound 50 pantry challenge this week we have 80 tea bags and a tin of evaporated milk these will always come in handy now if you're new to the channel we do this £1.50 pantry challenge to show people that you can build a pantry with as little as £1.50 or if you're in America it's around two dollars give or take so and we stock up on packet mixes rice pastas tin fruit tin beans dried beans lentils um shower gel or what I call personal care items toothpaste mouthwash paracetamol ibuprofen rices stock cubes 
basically everything that you would personally eat goes into our uh, £1.50 pantry challenge. It does contain convenience food as well as ingredients and that's okay. I don't mind that. But one thing I will say, don't buy what you don't eat. Don't do what everyone else tells you to do. Go out and buy rice and beans and that. But if you don't eat them, you're wasting your money. So stick with the foods that you do eat. And especially in the way the world is right now, having a pantry, I feel, is extremely important. Because the prices are just continually going up. So you can afford to do a pantry in £1.50. If you can do more, that's great. But £1.50 is a good start. And this is saving you money in the long run because you're never going to get the same price again because it's going to keep going up and up and up and up. We all know where it's going. So if you haven't thought about starting a pantry, start now, start with one small box, one plastic container. Um, I will link up in the iCards why I do this £1.50 pantry challenge, um, tells you all about it, I did a video for it. I also do canning from the garden, again check out my shorts, I'll try and link yet another one up in the iCards on the hashtag £1.50, no? the hashtag every bit counts challenge um, I'll link the last video as well um, for showing you roughly what we've got in the containers what we've been doing we've been doing this since January um, just staying at £1.50 and it'll give you an idea how much we've got so far Okay, right, that's it for this vlog, garden tour, whatever you want to call it, it's fine. I hope you like seeing our big pumpkin, we were so pleased with that, we are so pleased. We've got such a tiny little garden, but we still grow and we still put things away. And if you haven't got a garden, don't worry get it from the shop there's no shame in doing that and preserving food from the shop I've done it and it's fine don't let anyone tell you otherwise so I think that's it for this one I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it the big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and that notification bell that way you will not miss any videos so until next time guys bye take care